Don't call, don't text, don't DM. I'm lost in the stream of consciousness. Ooh, a fish. Actually, I'm gonna start taking y'all with me because why don't I just vlog? Like, I look so cute. My makeup looks so good, but like, I want to take y'all with me. Currently, like, 4 in the morning right now, y'all. We got back at the crib at, like, 2.30. Mangoes, I love this Water, 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 water. There's too many sounds going on right now, like. It's okay, y'all can hear me now. But I'm saying, I want to get back to vlogging. I just had to put the camera down real quick because, like, I feel like I've been having to, like, ground myself. You feel what I'm saying? Like, but I think I want to just start doing videos where I just pick up the camera and start talking. Like, I'm, I'm going to do YouTube full time, but it's like, <sighs> I don't want this to feel like another nine to five. Shotty, like, I want to have fun. Shotty, like, you feel what I'm saying? But I realize I can have fun. I can be just spontaneous. And y'all just, you know what I'm saying? And I can still, I can sit here and put up a camera and start talking. But it's just like, and then I start thinking about the title. And then I start thinking about, like, okay, well, what is this video actually about? Like, what are you actually talking about? Like, what's the goal here? But it's like, sometimes some things, Shotty, you don't need no goal with everything. Shotty, just pick up the camera and just get to, feel what I'm saying? Ooh. And, and wish the best for yourself at all times like i said it a lot but i'm being so serious a lot of people talk down on themselves so easily and i really do not like that like i do not like being around people that talk down on themselves constantly like shawty you ain't got nothing good to say about your stuff like hey like you ain't got no like good qualities or nothing like shawty like what like shawty like what like some of these videos i be getting real emotional and like i be watching them back and they be more like rant type videos but i know if i put it out there I just feel like it'll allow more women to be more vulnerable with their emotions because I feel like in this era, I feel like we feel like we have to be like hard body, like no, embrace that vulnerability, be in tune with your emotions. If you're truly in tune with your emotions, nobody can make you feel bad about feeling sad about anything or you can't make yourself feel bad about feeling sad about something because you know this is just the feeling and feelings come and go. They're like waves, they literally just come and go. Like you can feel the type of way one way, feel the type of way another day. It just it is what it is. That's just what it is. And all the thoughts you think are really thoughts from yesterday, repeated thoughts. So if you really just notice the pattern of you feeling sad or bad about yourself, just start analyzing what type of thoughts you're thinking. You know, don't analyze everyone. Just you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I really be feeling like one one with the earth and shit. So this is how I side job. One of the best things, start meditating, start grounding yourself, start start becoming present in every moment. You know what I'm saying? You're on your phone so much, you're not present, you're not none of that. Cause for real, for real, time don't be really going by fast. Like it do, but when you're not thinking about time, it don't seem like it's going by so fast. Like I've been really enjoying my time. Like I've been going out, I've been getting stuff done. I've been like training my mind to do stuff even if my body don't feel like doing it. Cause like I said, feelings are fleeting. Like you can feel some type of way. That's why that's why when you like be bored the whole day, like scrolling on TikTok saying like, oh yeah, I'm finna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And then you just like keep scrolling on TikTok and then you get to like the middle of the night and you're like, man, tomorrow I'm gonna be on it tomorrow. Uh uh, there ain't no more of this. Ain't no more. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to like you trying to get your whole life together at 3 a.m. in the morning. Like, yeah, shawty, that's because your body went unconscious throughout the whole day, right? And you did the same things you did the other day before. So if you didn't do nothing the day before, you're probably not gonna do nothing the next day. Da, 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 da. So forth, so far. You probably gonna still be scrolling to touch, seeing all the stuff you gotta do, and the time's just gonna go. The day's gonna keep going by and by and by. But if you actually like kind of like say okay i get i don't feel like doing this but let me just get up and do it you know let me just get up and do it and even i have to tell this for myself sometimes like today i had to like i said you know what you don't feel like doing nothing for yourself just clean up the house and then that's what i did i just cleaned up the whole house even though i didn't feel like doing it but then i ended up feeling better that because i did it i was like oh shoot i actually like this so it reminded me that like even though i don't feel like doing some maybe i should just do it and see what happens afterward you know what i'm saying that I'm seeing. Maybe just start doing it, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I like waking up early so I can meditate and do all that stuff, but also still have time and don't feel like I wasted my day. Like, I don't feel like I waste my day when I meditate or take walks around the day, but when I wake up late, I kind of don't be wanting to get up, especially when I wake up really, really late. I'll be feeling like, okay, girl, you know what? And then that's when I feel like I have to, like, I get started getting stressed out because I feel like I miss so much of time. So then I have to, like, oh, let me meditate or let me go walk outside. And then that's when I get that, like, okay, I'm calm again. I'm grounded. I'm back in a creative mode. And then, boom, be time to go to sleep. So, like, dang, shout out to I didn't get on time to release my creative juices or whatever. But that's good because I end up regulating my sleep schedule again. 
So when I do that, like I wake up late and then I go and like meditate or go on walks that entire day. Just like observing like the trees and wind and just the natural flow of the world. It reminds me that like everything's gonna flow. Wherever you put your energy to, your attention to, your, attention to, your energy is gonna grow. So if you just started a business, even if it does bad in the first year, it has to grow. That's just the natural state of order with life. Everything is constantly changing and constantly flowing because I'm not thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? And then when I'm not thinking about it, I'm not thinking bad or good in my mind, like the inner, the, the thing that's always talking in your head, it like disappears sometimes for me. And then I can only like, I don't hear nothing there. I just like see everything I'm seeing or I'm just experiencing what I'm experiencing. I'm not hearing anything up there. And then also I've been able to change my thoughts for the better a lot with this new way of like living. Like all my thoughts for the most part be good. If they're bad, it's like they just go by. Like I don't not I don't even like pay like I don't get no feelings off of them, you know? Like some thoughts that used to make me sad can't make me sad no more because I just watch them go by. And then that's like I feel like what meditation helps you with watching your thoughts go by. Um, I think it is kind of clearing your mind when you can just watch them go by because they're not affecting you. So technically your mind is clear. And then you can actually hear like stuff from source or God or whatever you believe in. You can hear stuff directly from source and then source will tell you exactly what to do or exactly where something is. Because it's not like it's not something you're not known. You have the stuff you're like like even when you be looking for something, you kind of know where it is. You just have all these thoughts that race in your head because of past things. Like, oh, remember it was in the background one time. Or remember it was in the no, 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 no. You know exactly where it is. Just calm your mind down and let literally just let source guide you. Or even with stuff like you have clarity, you need clarity in your business, clarity in your relationship. You be knowing. You just have all these other thoughts that tell you otherwise because of your opinions and your beliefs and all this other stuff, all this unoriginal shit that somebody else can tell you. So now it's in your head. So now you gotta learn how to sit there, sit down and let them thoughts just go by. So you realize some of these thoughts are from your mama. Some of these thoughts are from your daddy. Some of these thoughts are from your friends. Some of these thoughts are from Instagram. Some of these thoughts are from Twitter. Some of these thoughts aren't even you for real no more. Like some of these thoughts are all the way from middle school. Like thoughts of unworthiness or and you think about that shit, where'd that shit come from? And then you're like, hmm, that boy did say, like call me ugly in middle school or some shit. I'm still heard about that shit. What? You it be shit like that. Like half of the time, y'all, y'all be beautiful as fuck. Not even beautiful. It, it's more like you look the way you're supposed to look, and that's okay. Like that's the reason some of y'all aren't beautiful because y'all don't feel it. Y'all feel like y'all not. So you're not. Like it, it's so simple. Your self-image reflects so much about yourself. The way your life is reflects so much about the way you think and your thoughts. When I elevated my thoughts. Shit just started getting better. I, I'd have been in better places, better opportunities, more opportunities. I'm still fixing the way my mind is. Because sometimes my self-doubt will hold me back. Like fear, that's why I love taking walks. Because with walks, you're literally, like, like with walks, it's kind of like I know, but I don't know. Like it's the unknown. Because this is not my neighborhood. Like it's not my neighborhood I grew up in. So like, every day I walk around, I see some new shit. Like I see some new shit. Like I see a new bush, a new, a true new tree, a new da, da And it just reminds me that like, even though you don't feel like nothing's happening, it'd be so much happening. Especially in even some little shit as like changes in your energy or changes in your thoughts. You don't think nothing is happening, but it's so much shit that's happening. Like you're noticing more shit. Like I done seen my dream car like three fucking times. I'm so happy. But I just see my dream car like three fucking times. I'm just like, damn, nigga, that's my car. Like, uh, like the fact that I'm seeing it so much more, it's crazy. And synchronicity, and then it's like opportunities. See more. I get more ideas now. I get a lot of more ideas, and I act on my ideas sometimes. But then the fear comes back. It's a, it's a practice, you know. It's a practice. But let me eat this mango so we can get in there and get to this story. Time. Notice I get so much love from pretty fly bitches, but um. But when it comes to like the little, you know, the pretty they come up, you know how 